as we get older, things change a bit. When we are young, we like to be around people a lot. There's so much new to see and do, and we want to experience it all. But as we grow older and wiser, we may find ourselves feeling more comfortable spending time alone. We've already learned so much and seen a lot of the world, and sometimes we just enjoy peace and quiet. That's perfectly normal. There's no need to force yourself to be social if you'd rather spend time on your own. Remember those potlucks we used to have with friends? Back then, our homes were filled with laughter and lively conversation. We took turns hosting, sharing delicious dishes, and catching up on life's happenings. It felt like our friendships grew stronger with each visit. These days, our lives are often busier, and sometimes we crave a more relaxed way to connect. Maybe you or your friends aren't up for the hassle of cooking and cleaning for a big gathering. That's perfectly all right. The important thing is to find ways to spend quality time together. Many folks, like our neighbor, Mrs. Chin, enjoy meeting friends at parks or cafes for chats. It's a familiar and comfortable setting, and there's no pressure to impress anyone. You can sip on coffee, reminisce about old times, and share stories in a peaceful atmosphere. Plus, a change of scenery can be refreshing. So, if you're looking to connect with old friends or make new ones, remember, there are many ways to do it. Explore different options besides home visits. You could meet for lunch at a familiar diner. You both enjoy? Take a leisurely walk in the park together or even join a gentle exercise class at the community center. The most important thing is finding activities you both enjoy and spending quality time with people who make you feel good. After all, that's what keeps our hearts young and creates happy memories that will last a lifetime. As we get older, our days fall into a nice groove, like a favorite sweater that's warm and familiar. We cherish the quiet moments, like that first cup of tea in the morning, or watching our carefully tended flowers bloom. Family becomes even more precious, and spending time with loved ones, whether it's your children, grandchildren, or close relatives, brings warmth to our hearts. Maybe you used to be the social butterfly, flitting from event to event, and that's wonderful. But good friends understand that life slows down a bit as we age. A friendly chat on the phone can be just as sweet as a big gathering. Perhaps you can catch up on the latest news in each other's lives, reminisce about old times, or even share a recipe or a favorite book recommendation. Or, if you're feeling up to it, you could share a delicious meal at a restaurant with a close friend. There's no pressure to keep up with social obligations that leave you feeling drained. The key is to discover what brings you joy and keeps you feeling good, both in your body and your spirit. Maybe you enjoy gentle exercise classes at the community center, spending time tending to your garden, or joining a book club to discuss interesting stories. Embrace this new chapter in your life. It's a time to relax cherish loved ones, explore new hobbies at your own pace, and create new happy memories that will enrich your golden years. Dropping in on friends unannounced can be a bit like showing up to a surprise party you weren't expecting. We all have our own doctor appointments, errands to run, or maybe even special plans with family. What might seem like a friendly pop-in for you could disrupt your friend's carefully planned day. Think about it this way. You wouldn't want someone to interrupt your afternoon nap or a quiet evening spent reading your favorite book. Just like you cherish your routines, so do your friends. Take Mrs. Lee from the center, for example. Remember how she loved catching up with her bridge buddy, Miss Wang. They used to visit back and forth all the time. But lately, 
Mrs. Lee noticed Miss Wang seemed a little flustered after their visits. It turned out Miss Wang's grandchildren were visiting more often, and while Miss Wang loved seeing them, surprise visits made it hard to plan activities or just have some quiet time together. So, instead of popping in unannounced, a simple phone call can work wonders. It's a quick and easy way to say, thinking of you, are you free for a chat on the phone today or perhaps a visit later this week? This shows you care about your friend's schedule and lets them know you're coming, giving them a chance to plan accordingly. Remember, true friends understand that life can get busy and sometimes a friendly chat on the phone or a planned get together outside the house, like a visit to the park or a shared lunch can be just as enjoyable as a surprise visit. After all, the most important thing is catching up and spending quality time with good company. And that can happen in many ways. Spending time with good friends can be like a warm cup of chamomile tea on a chilly afternoon, bringing comfort and joy. But just like having too much caffeine can leave you feeling jittery, getting together too often can sometimes lead to misunderstandings. As we get older, catching up with friends becomes an even more delightful way to pass the time. Think about Meister and Mrs. Garcia, for example. They cherish those evenings playing cards with their neighbors, friendly competition, lots of laughter, and good conversation. But here's something to remember. Sometimes, loose talk can lead to misunderstandings, like a spilled cup of tea staining a tablecloth. A careless remark, even if not meant to be critical, can cause hurt feelings, just like Miss Hernandez, who used to enjoy coffee catch-ups with friends. Unfortunately, a comment about someone's garden even though not meant to be critical, created some tension. The takeaway here is that sometimes keeping things simple and positive is best. We can still cherish our friendships by chatting on the phone or planning outings together. Maybe it's a trip to the park to admire the flowers, a visit to the museum for a walk down memory lane, or even just a shared lunch at a familiar restaurant. Remember, focusing on lighthearted and positive conversations helps ensure our get-togethers stay enjoyable for everyone. So, treasure your friends. And remember, a gentle touch with our words goes a long way in keeping those friendships strong. After all, good friends are like fine china, precious, and worth taking care of. As we get older, our days settle into a comfortable routine, just like that favorite pair of slippers, worn in and familiar. We all come from different backgrounds, and what feels like a manageable expense for one person might feel a bit of a strain on another's budget. There's no need to compare our finances. Remember how much fun it was to visit friends' houses when we were younger. Maybe you'd share your latest sewing project or admire their beautiful garden. But here's something to keep in mind. Sometimes these visits can unintentionally create pressure. Take Meister and Mrs. Diaz, for example. They used to love hosting potlucks, sharing their delicious recipes and their cozy home with friends. But lately, they noticed some friends seemed hesitant to return the favor. The Diazis realized their friends might have felt a bit uncomfortable trying to keep up with fancy meals or elaborate decorations. The most important thing is to find ways to connect with friends that feel relaxed and enjoyable for everyone. A simple phone call to chat about your day, a handwritten card in the mail to say you're thinking of them, or even a walk in the park together can be just as meaningful as a big gathering. After all, true friends appreciate you for who you are at your core 
not the material things you have or the way you entertain. So, embrace your own unique path and enjoy your golden years doing what brings you joy. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, exploring new hobbies, or simply cherishing the quiet moments. Technology has revolutionized the way we connect with others, especially for those with loved ones living far away. Video chat platforms like Zoom and Skype have transformed physical distance into a mere virtual hop, allowing you to see your loved one's faces, hear their voices, and share laughter and stories as if you were in the same room. Social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram can also be a fun and engaging way to stay connected with friends and family, share photos and updates, and even discover groups with similar interests. In our golden years, it's more important than ever to prioritize our physical and mental well-being. Maintaining a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains provides your body with the essential nutrients it needs to function optimally. Regular exercise, even if it's just a daily walk or a gentle yoga session, can boost your energy levels, improve your mood, and strengthen your bones and muscles. Getting enough quality sleep is also crucial for cognitive function, emotional well-being, and overall health. Additionally, scheduling regular checkups with your doctor can help detect and address any health concerns early on. If feelings of loneliness or isolation ever arise, know that you're not alone. There are many organizations and resources dedicated to supporting older adults and fostering a sense of community. Senior centers offer a variety of activities, social events, and support groups, providing opportunities to connect with others and engage in activities that bring you joy. Support groups can be a safe and supportive space to share your experiences, connect with others who understand your challenges, and receive emotional support. Additionally, hotlines and online resources can provide immediate assistance and guidance if you're feeling overwhelmed or need someone to talk to. Remember, your golden years are a time to embrace new experiences, nurture meaningful connections, and continue to thrive. By embracing technology, engaging with your community, prioritizing self-care, and seeking support when needed, you can create a fulfilling and enriching chapter in your life. So, step out, connect with others, and savor the joys of this extraordinary phase of life. As we get older, our families become like warm blankets on a chilly night, a source of comfort and love that we cherish even more. They're the ones who've seen us through thick and thin, and their love is unconditional. While keeping in touch with a few close friends is always nice, there's no need to feel pressured to maintain a large social circle. Remember, you don't want to wear yourself out trying to keep up with everyone. Planning outings or meeting up at familiar restaurants can be a fun way to connect with loved ones. Maybe you could enjoy a picnic lunch in the park, catching up on life while enjoying the fresh air. Or perhaps you could visit a museum together and reminisce about old times. The key is to find activities that are enjoyable and don't require a lot of effort. Taking time for yourself is important too. Maybe you enjoy reading a good book in your favorite chair, spending time in your garden, or listening to your favorite music. Learning to appreciate your own company can be a source of strength, especially as life changes. Remember, even though some people around us may move away, or we may outlive some friends, the love and support of your close family will always be a constant. So cherish those special bonds 
embrace your independence, and enjoy this new chapter in your life. It's a time to relax, spend quality time with loved ones, and create new happy memories. And of course, you're never alone here on The Better Journey. We're always happy to provide companionship and support.